This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Domain.com. Jason writes in from Houston, Texas. I want to back up five terabytes of music, movies, and pictures. I have a few unused two terabyte hard drives. I want to use an external hard drives and store them at my parents' house since online backup is not feasible for five terabytes. Well, it would take a really long time. Um, I'm looking for a program to take my three terabytes of movies, my music, and pictures and keep the directories that the files are contained in and efficiently fill the disk without any container, tar or zip. I don't want to run one disk for each to have it all fit with my movies folder being split. I haven't found a solution that was Windows based. Do you know of any ideas to help me? If not, I'll manually do it. Just thought there would be an automated way. <laughs> Thanks, Jason in Houston, Texas. Um, well, I commend you for getting your backup on in a rom remote location. That yeah, because if a tornado takes out your house, mm -hmm. you'll be happy the data was at your parents' house. Oops. Or if a flood wipes out my parents' house, they're happy their data's on the cloud. It's just yeah. multiple locations. Now he has to worry about the disease. Hmm. Yes. Well, He's if your parents' house locations. is next to your house, it might that not might be, be as good. Yes. If your parents are in like another part of the state, it's probably better. In any case, look, first up, I wouldn't say that online backup is not feasible for five terabytes. You can back terabytes up online. Carbonite and Crash Plan mean unlimited when they say unlimited. It just takes, like Veronica said, a long time to upload five terabytes to an online storage site. What's really cool, though, uh, Crash Plan has some interesting stuff. If you kind of scroll down the Crash Plan website, they have seeded backups, so they'll basically send you a one terabyte drive, you can stuff everything on it, and they'll sort of speed things up by getting your first terabyte online. And what's also interesting, they started more recently, the Restore to Door Priority Recovery Service, so for like 170 bucks, they'll send you your first three and a half terabytes of data uh, after your terrible, terrible, nice. computer crushing, yeah. uh, uh, miserable experience of Doom. So seriously, don't, don't rule out online backup. Second up, I would skip using multiple drive enclosures. Get something like this, uh, MediaSonics. Basically, it's a takes three and a half inch drives and it has USB 3.0 and eSATA and it's an external enclosure. So it has basically all the connections you need, a single connection to your computer, and it's much more easy to manage than having a whole bunch of external drives. Load it with your drives, plug it in, then combine those drives into a single drive loader. This is actually already built into Windows uh, 7 and Windows 8. Uh, if you're running Windows 7, uh, open up uh, the Windows Disk Management tool, make sure the drives aren't formatted or partitioned or erase them if they are. Right click, select New Span volume, add your additional drives, and then you just follow the wizard and you assign a drive letter, you're good to go. Better yet, do this on a Windows 8 box, because Windows 8 storage spaces, you can actually choose parity data under resiliency, make it survive a single drive failure, then copy your files over onto your external enclosure, truck that puppy over to mom and dad's house. Now, once you've done that, you can use something like Crash Plans buddy system, right? So oh. the free version of Crash Plan includes the ability to sync your files to a friend's computer. In this case, basically, if, if your mom and dad have the internet and a computer you can hook this up to, use Crash Plan's free backup to keep them synced. Yeah, you get like a little code, and then you give your friends or family that code number, and then it just works pretty, pretty easily. Yeah. Now, it's very handy. If you want to go to the next step, build yourself a free NAS box, set it up with ZFS so you have really super cool uh, drive parity backup, survive multiple crash mayhem, and then run rsync on your local network to sync your data over to that free NAS box. Then take the free NAS box over to mom's dad's house. And seriously, take it. rsync's really, really cool. It's like the classic Linux user command for remote syncing of stuff. Uh, and then you basically back the stuff up locally over your, 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 your mm -hmm. local computer or your local network. Then take the box over to your parents' house and then you can keep it updated as you add additional photos or additional media or additional movies or just take your computer over to mom's house every once in a while, you know, and, and do the sync on their network. But nice. basically, there are a lot of ways to skin this particular cat. There are, ooh. But I know you guys always have better solutions than we do half the time, so let us know, Texilla at revision3.com. We have tons more viewer questions, but first, it is time to thank one of our sponsors. Need a new domain name for that website, blog, or business? Then you need to register a new .com. A .com domain name is the original and it's the best. It's globally understood and it gives your website immediate cred no matter what name you choose. Find a new .com domain at domain.com. We on the show here like domain.com because they're affordable, they're reliable, and they're easy to use. Plus, domain.com's active social media presence on Twitter at domain.com and their great customer support make it a fun place to do business. Hey, we have an awesome 20% off coupon code. We're talking big time savings here, people. Visit domain.com and check out their already low prices and use the coupon code TechZilla when you check out to save an additional 20% off, folks. That's big time savings. And don't forget to give the TechZilla coupon code some love. 
And when you think domain names, think domain.com, and that's a .com.